screen here is a IoT solution for a gateway with a microchip controller and a microchip leaf using the Microsoft Azure IoT Edge Network. So what we have here is, is an A5D2 for microchip acting as a gateway and an E54 acting as a leaf node. What the leaf node does is control this door lock so that we have a secure system with an authenticated uh, leaf node to the gateway uh, that controls door lock. What we're also demonstrating is using the Azure IoT Edge network and their container systems to show how uh, Microchip's ICM technology can be used to uh, watch for malicious code injections in both the kernel or our container. So what, what this red button will show is the injection of malware into the Linux kernel. And what you'll see on the, on, the, on the screens here showing this non-secure world and secure world is you'll see that code injection come into Linux, and then you'll see the ICM trigger and the secure side in core key and reset Linux to a pristine state. So we'll, we'll execute that right now. So you now see an injection into the Linux kernel. The ICM fires and is now resetting the kernel image back to the pristine state from the uh, flash memory. So that's a good way to monitor the kernel and make sure that everything's going. But, but in the Azure IoT Edge solution, we're using Docker containers to bring microservices down. And we want to make sure that those services that are coming down and those containers are uh, authentic and unaligned un, uh, uh, containers. So in the second uh, demo we have here, we show an injection into one of those containers, and we are also using the ICM to monitor the memory and keep track of, of monitor the memory and keep track of, of what should and shouldn't be there. So, so when we'll inject a code into the container here, and and when we do that, we'll see a different injection message come up here in the normal world, and we'll see the ICM once again trigger and reset. So you can see. Here that we had an injection, your Docker containers are now corrupted, ICM fires, and we're resetting the Linux image. Because the Docker containers and the Linux image both run in the same space, because the container got corrupted, you need to reset the entire Linux kernel back to a known state, because that container could have infected Linux. So, so we're using the core key in the trust zone to make sure that the entire normal world is staying, staying in, a, in a good state. Finally, for completeness, we can actually show the leaf node here, which is authenticated, and receiving authentic commands from the uh, from the gateway. So this has all so far been in the A5 day gateway. We can show that the leaf node, the E54 here, is able to actually control a door lock and do it in a secure way. So we, we show that um, by sending, you know, when the node first comes up, it authenticates itself to the um, to the gateway. And then when the gateway sends commands, it sends authentic commands back to the, to the leaf node, which can be authenticated there, using Trust Zone and the built-in hash engine here on the 54. So what I'll demonstrate here is, is, is the con controller here of a phone. Give it the correct pin code. It'll send the command to the gateway. The gateway authenticate that. You'll see some messages here on the trusted side authenticating that. And then you'll see the, the command go out and open the door lock. So the door lock opens. You see here the challenges and stuff that were were, were being authenticated in the press. So that is uh, what we're showing here in the demo today.